Hey friends, so con conjunctions and connectors. So we have enough vocabulary, we're starting to create, or you, you should be able to start to create complex sentences and more, uh, more than just three word sentences, right? A lot of times you need conjunctions and the different connector words, right? So here they are. E, E, O, U, pero, entonces, O, O, either or, ni, ni. Neither nor. Okay, so remember in English we go either or, in Spanish or in, in in English also for the negative. I like neither to swim in rivers nor swim in lakes, which isn't true. I like both. Um, and then check this out. A lot of today's video. This video is about e. When does it change to a? When does all change to u? Because notice e means an, and the word the letter a means and. Oof. Okay, so also phonetically in Spanish, remember, e, e, the letter is e. In English, this is the letter e, which is kind of confusing. E, o, u. Okay. So with indefinite articles, okay, the English indefinite article a changes to an for phonetic reasons, for like sound reasons, to help a sentence flow. A changes to an when introducing a noun beginning with a vowel. This is, this is something we learn and we know instinctively as native English speakers. But check this out. A candy versus an apple. <laughs> that starts with a consonant. Right, it's just sort of such the hard sound, so it's a candy, a dinosaur, a surprise, a dinner, a sports game, but an apple, an astronaut, an astonishment, an event, an entertainment event. So it's it's just it's the same. A and an are the same. It's an indefinite article introducing a noun. However. For phonetic reasons, we add this in when the, the noun is, starts with the vowel. In much the same way in Spanish, e and o change, have spelling changes on occasion to eliminate redundant and difficult sound repetitions. All right, so y-e changes to a when followed by a similar, in English the letter is i, but in Spanish it's e. And that is an E sound, like inteligente, right? Inteligente, I, inteligente sound, right? O changes to U when followed by a similar O sound, like ocasión, the occasion. So, Ashley es talentosa, hermosa, e inteligente. This Y, y is a Y, E changes to E. Because you don't want to say e inteligente, e inteligente is e inteligente. Ashley is talented, beautiful, and intelligent. Es un evento especial u ocasión común. Is this a special event or like a common occasion? Evento especial o ocasión o o. You don't want to do that. You don't want to repeat that sound. You want to u. Es un evento especial u. Ocasión común. La decisión es enorme e, idealmente, vamos a ganar. The decision is enormous and ideally we are going to win. And maybe it's like a strategic decision. Oh man, we're going to not play this person. We're going to play this person. You know. La decisión es enorme e, idealmente. So instead of saying e, 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 idealmente. Tomás y Javier son futbolistas súper impresionantes, pero, but, Pedro es horrible, right? So this is back to con connectors and conjunctions. But, man, Pedro is terrible, he's horrible. <laughs> Tomás and Javier are really impressive footballers. They're great football, soccer players. But, Pedro is horrible. Ganamos el campeonato, entonces tenemos que trabajar más duro para 
um, para mantenerlo el próximo año. We won. We won the championship. So we have to work harder, right? We have to work even more, more hard in order to maintain, maintain it the next year. We won the championship. So we have to work harder to keep it next year. ¿Prefieres tú comer pizza o hamburguesas hoy? Do you want to eat pizza or hamburgers today? Do you prefer? Yo no quiero comer ni las verduras ni las frutas. <coughs> I want to eat neither vegetables nor fruits. And remember, in English, you can't have double negatives, right? You can't have, so I don't want to eat neither. But in Spanish, you do have double negatives. Yo no quiero. I do not want to eat neither vegetables nor fruits. I just want bread. Only bread, always. Have a good one. Eat your vegetables, and we'll see you next time.